If you've ever tried taking the buses around here, you'll know that it's not exactly the fastest way to get around. Well, according to our calculations, there are a couple of things that the city can do to make them much, much faster. Could I get a transfer, please? Thanks so much. Hey, uh, are we moving anytime soon? Halifax was ranked 20th in transit this year in Canada by Money Sense magazine. Now that's not exactly something to get proud about. I mean, I don't even know if there's 20 cities in all of Canada. But why is that? Well, there are a number of reasons, but for me, it's because transit is just slow. If I'm taking the number 42 from Lacewood Terminal to Spring Garden, it will take me at least 30 minutes. Meanwhile, that same route only takes 18 minutes by car. There's just no competition. So how do you speed up the buses? Well, you could ask the bus driver to step on the gas. But that's not the kind of speeding up we're talking about here. If you want to talk about speeding up transit, you first need to talk about what's slowing down transit. If you've watched any of our previous videos, you'll know that the buses are slowed down by a variety of issues such as super inefficient routes and time-consuming paper tickets. But a really big factor is traffic, because buses get stuck in congestion, just like everyone else. So what are we going to do about this? Well, the city is considering a pair of approaches. Think of this as like cutting in line, but for buses and a heck of a lot less rude. In busy intersections, buses get a side lane so they can jump ahead of a few cars. On top of that, the buses have a signal that allows them to go first before the traffic light changes. We actually have a couple of transit priority signals and queue jumping lanes installed in Halifax already, such as this one on Windmill Road. You know how a carpool lane is only for carpools? Well, a bus lane is only for buses. We actually don't have any bus lanes in Halifax right now, but the Integrated Mobility Plan, as well as several other studies happening right now, are looking into putting these bus lanes on busy roads such as Bears Road. Also, side note, the footage we use to demonstrate bus lanes come from a group of people on YouTube that actually just filmed the entire length of the bus route for hours. For fun! Gotta love the internet. So that's cool and all, but do we actually know if it will be effective? Well, we do know, and we can do that with science. The Dow Track Lab at Dalhousie University gave us access to a pretty cool program that simulates traffic. With this program, we can run thousands of simulations to figure out how much time would be saved if we added transit prior signals and bus lanes. For the purpose of this video, I simulated a bus route between Scotia Square and Lacewood Terminal based on routes 4 and 2. We first created a baseline simulation for current travel and boarding times. It takes the buses, on average, 39 minutes to complete this route from 7 to 8 a.m. Then I ran a simulation where we added transit priority signals. That saved 9 to 15% in travel time. For the next simulation, we swapped out the transit priority signals with bus lanes. That saved 27% in travel time. Finally, I chose an optimal combination of bus lanes and transit priority signals for each part of the route. Then I ran the simulation one last time. Well, technically, one last 1,000 times. And then the result here were the most impressive. The travel time was reduced by 42%. It must have been a sign. 42. What that meant was that in this scenario, the bus would take you from Scorsese Square to Lacewood Terminal in just 22.5 minutes. According to Google Maps, it currently takes up to 29 minutes for cars to get from Scotia Square to Lacewood Terminal in the morning. So with a combination of transit prior signals and bus only lane, the buses could be cars. How about that? Wow. So here's what we'd like to leave you with. It's very likely that Halifax Transit will be considering these changes in the future. And if history is any lesson, these will be controversial projects. People generally don't like the idea of losing lanes meant for car traffic. But keep this in mind. Traffic is not about to get much better in Halifax. In fact, it's very likely to get much worse. We've got a growing population, and we're adding new cars to the roads every day. But with transit priority signals and bus lanes, the evidence suggests that we can still offer fast and reliable commutes for people taking our transit system without having to worry about congestion. It'll be the answer to life, the universe, and everything. Or at least your morning commutes.